All right, so I want to give you a quick example of a query uh, that's got some math in it. I also want you to see that you can write queries that do multiple things. It's not a bunch of individual queries, each for one item. A lot of times you do a lot of stuff all at once. So I'm going to use my uh, artist example. This is that same one that I've been using in class. Um, so you may or may not have it. It depends on how much you were following along in class, but it doesn't really matter. Um, you can build your own to test this and um, you'll see in your homework that uh, this is this is similar to one of the questions in the homework so hopefully it's going to help you along in that as well so what I want to do is I want to select um, several columns then I want to perform a math function on one of those columns um, and then I want to order them in a certain way so what I'm going to do in this case is we're going to we're going to do select and uh, I'm going to select album name and artist name and let's see let's do album year and album price and on album price I actually want to have my column give me the price if I had three copies so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say album price times three and then so this makes sense I want to give my column an alias so that I know what it's telling me. So I'm going to call it as cost for three copies. All right, now I need to select it from a table. So from the table artist. Uh, and I only want a certain artist. So I'm going to go ahead and do a filter. So I'm going to say where uh, artist name equals Oops, put that in single quotes. Jocko Pastorius. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put this in an order because I want to I want to see these ordered by album year. So I'm going to order by order by album underscore year in my quote there. So you can see I'm actually doing multiple things here. I'm selecting some stuff. I'm doing some math. Um, I'm doing a filter and I'm putting them in an order. Now let's hit go and see what we get. All right, looks like everything went well. So what I can see is I've got three albums and in each case I've gotten the album name, the artist name, the album year sorted by year, and then the cost for three copies. Easy peasy. Hope that helps you out.